A few years ago, my friend told me about the most delicious campfire treats, the woofum. Have you tried one? Rumor on the street is they get their name because they are so tasty you woof them down. I'll show you how we make our DIY roasting sticks and how to cook woofums. To make woofum roasting sticks, you will need wood glue, a one and a quarter inch wood dowel, and three eighths inch wood dowels, one for each roasting stick that you're making. You'll also need a saw, a drill, a 3 8 inch drill bit, and sandpaper. Cut the one and a quarter inch dowel into three inch long pieces. You need one for each woofum stick you're making. Then in about the center of the dowel pieces, drill a 3 8 inch hole about two inches deep. I like to wallow out the hole a little bit to make a little more room for the handle dowel. Then fill the hole about a third full with wood glue and glue in a 3 8 inch dowel into the hole. And let the wood glue dry for a couple hours. Then sand the roasting sticks smooth with sandpaper. I like to sand a little chamfer on each end just to make putting the biscuit on and off easier. Before using the woofum sticks for the first time, soak them in cooking oil for a few hours. And if they get sticky in between roastings, you can just spray them with Pam or or dip them in the oil. Grab some refrigerator biscuits. Always get the small, the grands are too big for these for this stick. And then stretch the dough out a little bit and place it on the end of the stick. I want it. It's mine. Okay. We gotta cook it first. Let's try this again. Okay, so stretch the biscuit and then put it on the end of the roasting stick. And I kind of do a nice thin even layer up the roasting stick. Now the key to having the perfect woofum biscuit is to roast it nice and slow. You want to take about five minutes to roast these biscuits. Then you'll get a nice done biscuit with a golden color. Also, try and roast over the hot coals versus the flames of the fire. That'll help you get a slow roast on your biscuit. I like to make sure my stick is at a high angle so the biscuit doesn't try and slide off the stick. I try and cook the open end that's going to be that's closest to me first because once the open end is done, it's really easy to cook the bottom of the biscuit and get that nicely golden brown and turn the roasting stick nice and slow other if you turn it too fast the dough is going to want to try and fall off eventually it stretches too much when the biscuits all done slide it off the stick and fill it with yummy goodness check out my website hertoolbelt.com for some of our favorite concoctions and recipes but we love to put pudding fluffer nutter nutella and cream cheese or fruit pie filling in our woofum biscuits and we always top with some yummy whipped cream yum woof it down if you're looking for more of a savory option, you can fill it with taco meat, tomatoes, lettuce, and cheese and make a mini Navajo taco. You could fill it with ham and cheese or chili, tomatoes, and cheese. Let me know in the comments your favorite Woofum combo. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.